about my coach artifact. And um, from the WordPress um, site, dated on November 16, I believe, 2010, it shows that the, that it's like, like a piece of clothing can get the your culture and your region. So today I'm, I have this, um, this is by my niece and, um, and how it's being passed down from my ancestors to my nieces. And then I'm a, then the purpose of this is because of, because my grandma, my mother, my sisters, and even my nieces is being passed down to my tradition. So it's pretty cool, you know, getting it passed down to my tradition. And some of the main points I will talk about would be uh, where, where, where pretty much where it started from. Uh, second, I'll talk about the five values that represent me for for this woman culture. Uh, how I pretty much got started from this culture, and um, how these five values, uh, how I take these five values and take it out of my life. <coughs> so pretty much, uh, pretty much uh, it started is that um, there was a woman named Amalia Navarro, and she. She was pretty much the one who founded it with 10 other um, dancers. And they um, pretty much, they were just dancing around the community. And as time went by, um, they got really famous. And ever since then, people have been performing these type of performances. And, um, and there's more than one bad of correct? Because there's like a lot of different styles of which this like dance to be um, transferred. And then some of the five bodies that that I seen from this um, from this um, artifact, this performance, because of the way that the woman like swings her dress around and like, makes these cool arm visuals, and the uh, and the man stomping their feet with like nails on the bottom of the shoes, and then another thing is creativity, because the way that that the people design this dress are really amazing, <clears throat> and then heritage, because it's been passed down from my from my grandmothers to to my nieces. And another thing I take is pride because I want to show like where I come from and, and what it takes. And another thing is, is respect because after performance, you want to clap your hand, their hand for their awesome job that they did. So I want to like I want to like show my respect to them. And um, pretty much how I started with this culture was um, when um, when I was a young kid, I was being carried by my mother, and I was and she was standing next to my sister that uh, just recently performed uh, one of her performances with the folkloric dress. And then as time went by, I went to the metro. Um, after school, they will have, after school on the day of Simple the Mile, they will have mostly performances and booths so that everyone could have fun and the community could um, celebrate it together. And then um, middle school, I didn't pretty much, middle school I didn't see much of the performances, but I did realize the music and like, how they connect with each other. And then high school is on. And in high school, I really saw them both combined and how like, they work together and stuff. And um, yeah, and as of right now, my sister is currently a teacher at one of her, one, one elementary school. And when it's Cinco de Mayo, Mexican Independence Day, she takes the stress to her students so that way the students can know like, what the heritage is all about. <clears throat> and then my brother has two daughters, and it's really cool that um, that my brother's really um, carrying the tradition to them so they can know that like, the world that like where he came from and where I came from. And then um, and in conclusion uh, the in conclusion on the colors the colors of the of the dress Symbolize of the region of where you come from, like Mexico and some other certain parts of regions in, uh, in Mexico. And, uh, and then yeah, the way that that, that tradition is being carried down from my from my grand great grandmothers to my nieces is truly amazing. And uh, that's it. <laughs>